this is the dive deck. Ordinarily, there's a, a zodiac that lives right where we're standing. That zodiac is the ROV zodiac, and it carries this console. This has the generator and the operator's console where we put the monitor and the uh, joystick control panel for the ROV. So that sits in the Zodiac and I sit in that. Okay, we're down to 40 meters now. And right over here is the ROV itself. She's, as you can see, just about three feet long, weighs about 100 pounds. So two people can easily pick her up and put her in the water manually. She's sitting on top of her cable. We have three sections of cable totaling about 900 feet and she can go down to 500 feet. So about three times, at least three times deeper than it's safe for scuba divers to go on regular air. The cable carries commands from a console which has joysticks and toggle switches. You maneuver the camera, you maneuver these thrusters. There are five individual thrusters on the machine so she can move up, down, sideways, turn in place, just about anything you want her to do. The camera is slung there on the front and the cable carries all the signals down and then carries the video signal back to the Zodiac where we record it. And then of course we tape everything while we're out here and bring it back into the lounge on the Explorer where our guests get to sit in comfort, relax in the nice warm comfortable lounge and see this hidden side of Svalbard or the Antarctic or the South Pacific, places that would otherwise just be below the mirror of the surface. That's the best part of my job, is sharing with the guests things that they don't expect, a hidden part of the places they've come to that they didn't expect to see.